Hi guys, it's me, Controller, and today I'm taking a look at the Craftable Animals mod for Minecraft 1.3.2. And this mod is actually really cool, yet it's really simple. Basically, it allows you to craft all the mobs in Minecraft, which you can probably tell by the name, but in survival, so all the mobs have their own crafting recipe, which I kind of find it hard to get my head around of, but I think it's really cool when you get used to it. So if I press E now, you can see all these new items which uh, it's been added. Well, they're not really items, I call them items, but I'm really just dissing them because they are things, they are living mushrooms, and they all have their own crafting recipe. So if I press R now, uh, there we go. To craft a mushroom, you will need a cow, which doesn't really help, because to get a cow, you will need some leather and a raw beef. So obviously, all of the items that you need to craft your animal, uh, you actually need ones which obviously relate to that animal. So for a cow, it's leather and beef, which makes sense. Uh, for a wolf, it is uh, a sheep and some wool, and I'm not really sure how that makes a wolf. I guess wolf eat sheep, I don't know, does that make sense? I'm not entirely sure, but you you can make it with an orange sheep apparently, which I guess helps, does it? Not really. Okay, you can make a snow golem, which you need these snow things for, but I'm not entirely sure how you actually get them, uh, because I know you see them, they kind of like form on top of blocks in snow biomes, but I'm not entirely sure how you actually get them. Uh, but you can basically craft every single mob. So there we go. All of these things and you'll get a cave spider. Now what this mob does, which kind of makes sense, is to get eight blazes you'll need eight blaze rods. So in theory to get eight blaze rods you need to kill eight blazes. So by killing eight blazes you get the ability to make eight more blazes. Uh, which really makes sense and why was the light is just flashing weirdly and I don't have a clue what is going on. Uh, let me just set it to daytime and hopefully that will fix our Okay, there we go. Sorry, that flashing in the background was just driving me mad. Okay, so as well as all these new, uh, well, not new, why do I keep saying new? It really annoys me. Uh, but other than these uh, animals, it actually gives two new blocks, uh, which is this thing, the minimizer, and the ender crystal, which is not a new block, uh, but you see it in the end, I think. It's on top of those obsidian pillars. And what this ender crystal actually does is, well, it doesn't really do anything. What am I talking about? Uh, but it's this thing over here, and I think it actually looks really cool. I love the texture, and it's quite fun just to play around with. I guess you could use it like on top of a castle, um, which is really handy because I'm actually at a castle here. And hold on, where's the wall gone? Uh, there it is, bit of a world generation issue. And then we can put it on the top, and that actually looks really cool if it actually went properly on the block. Uh, so there we go. I've now got a really awesome tower with a lopsided top. So yeah, that is one of the blocks, and I don't really know how this class is as an animal. Uh, but apparently that's an animal, so I'll go with it. And now this world generation issue is actually lagging me uh, so much, so uh, let's just hold on. Okay, I just had to like quickly go away then whilst I stop my Minecraft from randomly lagging, and it seems to be because of these ender crystals. Um, when I tried to get rid of them, I actually managed to hit one and it exploded, which kind of blew up everything, but that doesn't matter, so we can just move on quickly uh, to the next new like item which has been added. And this is the minimizer, and it's kind of really weird and I'll try and show you what it does. It doesn't work on a creeper, unfortunately, which would be cool, uh, but it does work on cows and sheep. So if I just go and hit it, this cow, as you can see, it kind of turns into a baby cow, and I love baby cows because they have the really big head, and they like have that really high-pitched kind of squeak. So there we go, big cow, little cow, big cow, little cow, big cow, little cow, and I can't really see any use of that other than just playing around and feeling like like a super troll, just running around thinking, oh, so you've grown up now, now go back, become small again. Uh, so it's kind of weird. I don't see much point for it, uh, but it's it's kind of cool to play around with. And one thing I've noticed, because I'm a genius, you can see that that icon doesn't look anything like what I'm holding in my hand, and that's a bit weird. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So, as you can see, this basically just gives you the ability uh, to spawn all of these mobs, and it's really cool. I'm sure you could build an epic XP trap, and the stupid cow just fell down here. Uh, what is it doing? So, thanks for watching, guys. This mod has been a bit of a weird mod. I think it's really cool, though, so, Control, signing out.